Protecting our digital identity while attacking a system is also a very important aspect of hacking. A hacker should know how to protect their identity and how to lessen their chances of being caught. In this video, we will be configuring Tor and proxy chains in our Linux operating system, which can help us hide our identity while breaking into systems. Okay, now, without wasting any more time, let's get into it and learn how we can be completely anonymous using proxy chains and Tor. First of all, we need to install Tor in our Linux system. If you are already into these hacking things, you might know what this is. Tor allows us to connect to the internet anonymously by changing our IP address using different proxies all over the internet. Well, this is another topic. Anyways, I am here on my Arch Linux. You can install Tor by typing the following command in your terminal. You can configure Tor and proxy chains on any Linux operating system. If you are on Kali Linux or any other Debian-based Linux, you can install Tor by typing the following command in your Linux terminal. So after it gets installed, we need to install proxy chains in our system. For that, type the following command in your Linux terminal. Similarly, if you are on a Debian-based operating system, you can use apt to install it. You can see the command on your screens. All right, now we are done with installing things. Now we need to configure proxy chains so that it can work alongside Tor to provide us with maximum anonymity. Move to the etc directory of your Linux system by typing the shown command. Once you are in the etc directory, type the following command to check if a file named proxychains.conf, which is a configuration file for proxy chains, is present. Here we go. You can see a file named proxychains.conf. Now we need to open it. I am using Nano for this purpose. You can use any other text editor like Vim or Gedit. Type the following command to open it. This file is a configuration file for proxy chains. When you scroll a little bit, you will see different types of chains. Every chain has its own drawbacks and facilities. Our first chain is the dynamic chain. The awesome functionality of this chain is that it skips dead proxies automatically and moves on to others. That's why it's the best for our use and we are going to use it in this guide. After the dynamic chain, we have the strict chain, which says that all proxies must be online. If any proxy is dead, this chain won't work. We also have two more chains. You can check them out by yourself. Now remove the number sign from the dynamic chain and add it before the strict chain, which will tell proxy chains that we want to use the dynamic chain instead of the strict chain. The number sign is used for commenting a line of text in the bash language. After doing this, scroll down a bit and you will see proxy.dns is commented. Uncomment this as it will save us from DNS leaks. After doing this, scroll again to the very bottom of the file. Here we need to enter a line that will allow us to make a reliable connection with Tor. You will find this line in the description of this video. After doing this, save the file. If you are using Nano, just press Ctrl and X to save and exit this. After doing this, we are all done with configuring proxy chains. Type the following command to start the Tor service. You can also check its status by running the following command. Now we are ready to go. We have successfully configured Tor and proxy chains in our Linux environment. Now. If you want to open Firefox with proxy chains, just type proxy chains and then Firefox, and it will open Firefox with anonymity enabled. Now, if I visit the DNS leak test, which allows us to check our IP address, you can see my IP address has changed. Now, if I exit this and open Firefox again and visit the DNS leak test, you can see that my IP is completely different from the previous one. Not only Firefox, but you can also use proxy chains with many other tools like Nmap and Metasploit. If this much security is not enough for you, you can search on the internet and get more proxies and add them to the end of your configuration to get some additional anonymity. So this was a short guide on how you can configure proxy chains on your Linux system and get yourself anonymity in this digital world. If you found this video helpful, Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for more cybersecurity related content.